to read to you the original orders that established the custom and practices we observe here today. These orders were issued the first time 143 years ago. Headquarters, Grand Army of the Republic, Washington, D.C., May 5, 1868. General Order Number 11. The 30th day of May, 1868, is designated for the purpose of strewing flowers or otherwise decorating the graves of comrades who died in defense of their country during the late rebellion and whose bodies now lie in almost every city, village, and hamlet churchyard in the land. In this observance, no form or ceremony is prescribed, but posts and comrades will, in their own way, arrange such fitting services and testimonials of respect as circumstances may permit. We are organized, comrades, as our regulations tell us, for the purpose, among other things, of preserving and strengthening those kind and fraternal feelings which have bound together the soldiers, sailors, and marines who united to suppress the late rebellion. What can aid more to assure this result than by cherishing tenderly the memory of our heroic dead who made their breasts a barricade between our country and its foes. The soldiers' lives, excuse me, were the reveille of freedom to a race in chains, and their death a tattoo of rebellious tyranny in arms. We should guard their graves with sacred vigilance. All that the consecrated wealth and taste of the nation can add to their adornment and security is but a fitting tribute to the memory of her slain defenders. Let no wanton foot tread rudely on such hallowed grounds. Let pleasant paths invite the coming and going of reverent visitors and fond mourners. Let no vandalism of avarice or neglect, no ravages of time, testify to the present or to the coming generations that we have forgotten, as a people, the cost of a free and undivided republic. If other eyes grow dull and other hands slack and other hearts grow cold in that solemn trust, ours shall keep it well so long as the light and warmth of life remain in us. Let us then, at the appointed time, gather around their sacred remains and garland the passionless mounds above them with the choicest flowers of springtime. Let us raise above them the dear old flag they saved from dishonor. Let us, in this solemn presence, renew our pledge to aid and assist those whom they have left among us as sacred charges upon the nation's gratitude, the soldiers and sailors, widows and orphans. It is the purpose of the Commander-in-Chief to inaugurate this observance 
with the hope that it will be kept from year to year while a survivor of the war remains to honor the memory of his departed comrades. He earnestly desires the public press to call attention to this order and lend its friendly aid in bringing to it the notice of comrades in all parts of the country in time for simultaneous compliance therewith. John A. Logan, Commander-in-Chief. Robert Young, Joseph DeVito, Lincoln Hoyt, Donald Hunter, Louis Marchesiani, William Walton, William Reed, Robert Hersfelder, George Mason, Francis J. Smith, Hermes Cometti, Alan McGinnis, Avilo de Gravio, David Dale,